donation! No donation, no salvation! And remember, respect is everything. Okay, people. Today we're going to do something a little different. We're going to look at all of my DeLorean stuff. For those who don't know, I have a... What many would consider a very, um... Um, what's the word? Uh, I guess obsession with the DeLorean sports car from the DeLorean Motor Company. And, uh, I figured, you know what? I got so much of this stuff lying around. Let's just get it all out of the way, take a good look at it, and, uh, yeah, this should be fun. So, uh, we're gonna start with uh, all the handmade custom stuff that I did. And then we'll look at some actual official products that are uh, not modified or, you know, tampered with in any way. Um, well, okay. Well, we'll just start with the smaller stuff and then work our way to the bigger stuff. So this is going to be a very long video, so if you don't want to sit here and listen to me rant about nonsense um, for the next... Oh, God, I don't know how long this is going to be. But um, we're not going to just talk about the DeLorean. We're going to talk about, you know some of my personal projects that happen to feature a DeLorean-esque vehicle. But uh, before we get started, uh, let's get some of the simpler ones out of the way. Um, this is going to be your only warning. This is going to be a very long video. So if you don't have a lot of time on your hands, um, I mean, either put this on the watch later list or make time for it because we're going to be here for a while because we've got a lot to cover. I'm going to edit this and make it as sh short as I possibly can. But I can only do so much with two hands. And the very non-existent budget of my uh, editing team, which is literally just me. <laughs> anyway, um, we're going to cover, we're going to get some of the easy stuff out of the way. So this is Swindler. This is G1 Swindler, who is a DeLorean, which gives him more right to be cool than he needs to be. Or deserves, I guess. I don't know. Um, yeah, so there's, uh, there's Swindler. Uh, the G1 version, and I guess we'll transform him real quick. I do have the um, Siege version, and I was going to include him, but he's not actually based on a DeLorean car. He just kind of looks like it, so that's why he's not here right now. So there's Swindler in all his robot mode glory. So let's put him back in his more impressive mode, which is the DeLorean mode. Because who doesn't love DeLoreans? Well, actually I can think of a few people, but... Oh, there's that. Meow. Next, uh, I'm not going to go into too much detail because there's literally a million reviewers out there that's covered this thing. This is Gigawatt. He is the first official transforming uh, DeLorean Back to the Future crossover car. I have two of these. I have one in the box. Um, why do I have two of them? Because I have an unhealthy obsession with hoarding DeLorean memorabilia. And I'm probably going to get a third one because I want to customize one of these and make it look all battle damaged and, you know, like a war vehicle and stuff. But I'll, I'll, I'll get, to, if I do get a third one, we'll, we'll, we'll cover it. Or maybe I'll just modify this one because I have two of them anyway. And this is my one to mess with. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll get back to that when we can. Yeah, he's a transforming DeLorean. I'm not going to go out of my way to transform him and stuff. There's a million reviews out there. Um... Or, well, screw it. I guess we'll take a look at it real quick. Uh, pop the doors open. Um, I'm just going to rush the transformation here real quick. Cause it's literally just the Siege version of Sideswipe, just re-bodied as a DeLorean. I'm still going to try and be careful, though, because this is, my, this is my only other copy that I have, aside from the one in the box. And I don't want to break it. Because um, I like my stuff, and I prefer my stuff not be broken. Alright, flip that in. I usually push the thrusters in to get those feet out. Uh, gives you a little bit of leverage. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing this out of the kindness of my heart for those who don't know about this thing. But if you want a more detailed video on this, I mean, if you want me to do it, I'll do it. But if not, I mean, just, um, you know, go find a reviewer that actually covers actual Transformers. I mostly do my Lego Transformers and other Lego models. Um... I normally don't cover actual, like, toys and stuff unless necessary for, like, reference material. But, um, yeah, I normally 
don't cover this kind of stuff, but because it is related to the subject of the video, I figured we might as well take a look at them. Um, next. Oh, be careful here. This part always scares the crap out of me. Okay, come on. This part, I really don't like this part with the wheels, how they have to fold inward like this. It really makes me nervous. Because... I'm always worried one of these days I'm going to break those wheels off. Not that I would do it intentionally, but... I mean, it, it's just... I mean, Especially with how modern Transformers and toys in general are built these days. I mean, stuff definitely is not made to last anymore. Not like it used to be, anyway. Why is this not coming out? Um, I mean, like I said, it's going to be a long video, so if you're not... I mean, if you're not in this for the long haul, I suggest putting this on hold or... What be it? Okay, I don't know which way that's supposed to go out. I think it's supposed to go out this way. Oh, there we go. I got it. Oh. Gotta be really careful because I don't want to break this stuff. Oh, no wonder I wasn't folding. The wheels were blocking it. Okay, hold on. Come on. Okay, let's. Whatever, we'll screw with that later. Um, here. Clip that down like that. My nose is really itchy today for some reason. I don't know. Who cares? That's not important. Okay. So there's there's Gigawatt and all his gigawatty glory. That was really corny. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and leave him in robot mode. Um, you can't even see him. My bad. I apologize to all my viewers. Um, goodness, we're already seven minutes in. At least from the raw video. I mean, I'm probably going to edit this like crazy. Grabs Mr. Fusion, which I don't understand why it plugs on the top of the gun. It would have made more sense to have it go on the bottom like a magazine to like any other rifle that's ever existed. I mean, unless you're talking Bren guns or MG42. Well, I don't know. It doesn't matter. We don't need to talk about guns right now. This is irrelevant. Uh, so yeah, there's Gigawatt. You know, he's got pretty good articulation. I'm not going to go into the whole detail and stuff. I mean, if you want a proper review and actually want me to do it, please tell me and I might do it. But by the time I do it, he'll probably be all painted up and customized and who knows what other disasters will occur. Um, so we'll put him back there. Ignore the paint on the wall. I know that's been there for a long time. There's nothing I can do about that. Okay, now we're going to cover... Um, Let's put Swindler back there with them. The OG DeLorean. Um, we were going to look at the Lego one. But I've already reviewed this figure in full detail. So if you want to see that video, I'll link it in the description or in the comments or somewhere. Or you can just look for it on my channel. It's literally just called Swindler Mock. And yeah, he's based off the DeGorean from Carmageddon. There's a whole, I have a whole video on this figure, so I'm not going to cover him again. So, yeah, sorry. So I'll just go back there. This next DeLorean we'll look at, um, this is an old, I think it was a Wendy's toy, or it was like a Universal Promotional toy. I have like five of these things, because they were dirt cheap when I found them. I just kept buying tons of them. I don't know why, I just like how it feels yeah, I painted it up to look like Kit from Ready Player One. Even though he does appear in my story as Kit, but not, but with no connection to Ready Player One, he just happens to be a souped-up DeLorean. Um, for those wondering about my story, it's basically um, it's a sci-fi slash uh, somewhat kind of fantasy-ish. I mean, story a lot of a lot of '80s influence. It's basically just a uh, fan service for everything that I've ever liked, especially 80s stuff, so... I'm still writing it, but yeah, Kit does appear in it, he just doesn't appear as the Trans Am, he appears as a DeLorean. If you don't know who Kit is, well... This is Kit, from Knight Rider, who was a black Trans Am. Um, I took the T-tops off of it because, uh, you know, I, I like T-top sports cars. And, uh, yeah, there's Kit, he has the little red scanner light that you can't see so let's get a more detailed model 
Here's an old toy from the eight. Oh my god, he is super dusty. I am so sorry, people. Um, here's an old toy from the eighties. Um, god, he is super dusty. Uh, the scanner is red, and it had like a little pump thing that went in the top there. I just bought the car as it is, and then I just painted it up to look nice. This is Kit from Knight Rider, which in the movie Ready Player One is like a crossover with the DeLorean, which, yeah, ever since I saw that movie, I can't unsee that scanner now. Like, instead of the DMC logo, I just see the, the red scanner. Or, if, if you know about my story, a yellow scanner, because this car has more appearances than one in my story, because it's kind of a main character. So, yeah, there's Kit. If you don't know what Kit is, there he is. He's a black talking car with like super gadgets and stuff. And just look up Knight Rider historians; they'll give you the whole history of the Knight Rider car in general. We don't need to look at him. Um, speaking of Kit, here's a. Uh, well, actually, before we look at that one, let's go into my special box of Holy Grail uh, custom toy cars that I built. Now we're going to pull out um, the three DeLoreans that are in here because, you know, I figured I'd show that off. I just bumped the camera. Don't mind me. Alright. We'll come back. To these are all cars that appear in my story. Yes, including this one. Um, that I'm writing. It's kind of a... It's basically just uh, a book that I'm working on. More like a graphic novel because it's going to have pictures and colorful things and anime characters and garbage. Lots and lots of garbage. Um, anyway, so here's my Hot Wheels kit that I made. It's so weird calling a DeLorean kit, but oh well, such is life. Uh, this is actually made from, because uh, you see it looks very nicely um, painted. The body and rear um, thrusters I s basically I salvaged the entire upper half of the car from a um, what are they called? It was like one of those Hot Wheels. Um, uh, they were like these cars that came with like a digital scan code on the bottom and a plastic base, and you would run them on a track and then you would play them on a game on your phone. I have no clue. They were like five bucks a piece, and I bought as many of those DeLoreans as I could. Anyway, I salvaged one of them because I had a metal base from another DeLorean that I destroyed, as well as some wheels from the same car, and I was able to make this really nice uh, uh, DeLorean slash Ready Player One slash appears in my story car. Why is the camera not focusing? Probably because I turned off autofocus, but the autofocus sucks anyway. Um... Yeah, there's that. It's all metal. Very nice. Rubber tires. Very nice. And here's a battle damage version I built because in my story, like in the in like in Ready Player One, it gets damaged and actually gets destroyed, just like in the movie. Yeah, I'm not very original, but trust me, it's for a much greater cause and not some weird kid's version of the Matrix. Um, but yeah, it's got bullet holes and all sorts of smashed up windows and there is an interior in it it's just it's really really destroyed so that's why I painted the windows black so you can see the bullet holes better um yeah this thing has been through hell and back um but yeah in my story um kit is a data transport unit so he's like transporting hard drives and stuff and basically, the uh, the Nazis find him because in my story, the Nazis came back, and World War Three is just getting started. Where, well, it's getting started, but our heroes are trying to prevent it from even happening. Um, and no, there's no time travel in it. It's just literally them trying to prevent a war that shouldn't be happening in the first place. But anyway, yeah, I just screwed it together. I didn't even bother. <laughs> I'm actually missing the lower half of the rear. Um, but yeah, I just kind of glued this together and just smashed it up with a hammer and a drill and whatever I needed to to make the bullet holes look good and stuff. And, uh, you know, if this was to scale, those are some pretty big bullets, so we're probably talking like some 50 caliber machine gun rounds, which wouldn't be inaccurate since, you know, the Nazis in my story are very well equipped. Um, the next DeLorean we're going to look at is, uh, let's see, where is it? Um, speaking of the destroyed version, here is the carcass 
of uh, Kit after he gets blown up by the Nazis in my story that I'm still writing. Don't worry, I will publish it someday. I just gotta get all the writing done and then I can finally get on to the artwork. Um, but yeah, he gets blown up by Nazis and they uh, a team of uh, scientists recover the car and they rebuild it with leftover circuitry from another talking vehicle known as CAR, the Night Automated Roving Robot. Now if you've never seen Knight Rider, you're not gonna, is, this won't make sense. If you have seen Knight Rider, this may make some sense, but probably still won't make sense. So in Knight Rider, Kit had an evil twin called CAR, who appears in Season 1 and is literally identical to Kit, except he doesn't have a license plate because... budget. Um, but then in season three he comes back and he has like a he gets repainted with a two-tone paint job and then his scanner for some reason turned yellow or gold. You can't really see him. Get a flashlight. Oh no, it's not. Well, it's... There we go. Yeah, it's like a goldish color. It's supposed to be yellow, and it would swish back and forth and make swishy noises. In the show. Anyway, so there's Carr as he originally appeared in the show, and then that was the end of it. But I decided that character was too good to throw away. So, after Kit got blown up, he gets rebuilt with the leftover circuitry of Carr. And basically, the reason that happens is because uh, in my story, they recovered the circuitry after Carr got blown up after they found it in a desert. Or, not the desert, but with a bridge where that battle took place in the show. So, it's kind of a Knight Rider crossover, but literally, it's just, I mean, it's not just Knight Rider inspired. There's a lot of other stuff that gets thrown in there, like, you know, just other stuff. But, um, yeah, this was built from a Back to the Future car. I didn't have any more stock DeLoreans to rip apart to make this, but I don't really care. Uh, as you can see, he has a very Degorian like hood scoop, except he has rear louvers instead. Um,. There's his lovely little license plate, which you cannot see for some reason. Mm. I don't know why the focus is not working today. Mm. Oh well, it's basically just a barcode license plate from Back to the Future 2. Um, so he gets rebuilt as car, and then he also has hover mode and missiles and machine guns. Kind of like the Deluxo in GTA 5, which I have one of those in the game, but... That's a story for another time. But yeah, he's basically the the, the actual, um, I guess, Knight Rider version of the Deluxo, except he's car instead of Kit. Because he has the yellow scanner, Kit has the red scanner. See the difference? There you go. You probably still can't see it because the autofocus is crap on this webcam for some reason. Uh, where's that flashlight now that I think about it? There you go. You can kind of see that. Oh, well. Whatever, I'll work on it in editing. Also, the reason Kit became a DeLorean in my story is because he got destroyed, and here's his corpse. Or, well, destroyed vehicle body. I call it a corpse because he technically was sentient. Um, yeah, he got rebuilt into the DeLorean, and then the DeLorean got destroyed, and then got rebuilt into Car. So there's there's Kit. Yeah, I know, I'm, I know this is going to be a DeLorean video, but we gotta include all the source material as much as possible. So anyway, after Car um, is built, he falls in. He uh, the facility where he was built uh, gets raided by Nazis, and um, that was terrible. Gets raided by the Nazis, and uh, he manages to escape as well as his scientist who built him, who goes by the name of Shane McCreary. Um, again, it's all stuff from my book or book that's in progress. Um, no relation to Packy McCreary, the, the, the robber from GTA 4 and 5. Um, I just really like that name. But um, anyway, so yeah, here here's Carr in his first form with uh, his hood scoop and the uh, louvers. And then uh, eventually some point in the story, um, he ends up in a used car dealership uh, going into hiding. And then he gets purchased by one of the main characters, um, Ellie, who um, is buying her first car with her father. And then Carr happens to be um, 
So if you remember that scene from the first Transformers film, the 2007 one, it's pretty much like that. It pretty much goes down like that. He ends up destroying everything around him, and then he ends up going home with one of our characters. Speaking of Ellie, I do have a drawing for her. Um, she's basically just every generic shy girl that's ever appeared in anime. So there's Ellie. There's our character who buys car. And yes, I'm not a very good artist. I'm sorry. So this is this is basically what she would look like. Anyway, that's not important. Also, here's a drawing of of car um, after his second upgrade um, when he hits the uh, Degorian form. Here's another photo I drew of Carr with his famous catchphrase that I just made up out of nowhere. It will be done. Um, so there's that. <laughs> Speaking of his second form, after Carr gets blown up in an attempt to save his uh, little friend, um, Ellie, um, he gets rebuilt. So here's the carcass for that. Um, yeah, he gets he ejecto Cito's Ellie, the door flies off, and then the bomb or rocket that hit him blows him up, and then this is what his destroyed carcass looks like. And uh yeah, so that's uh that's interesting. And then he gets rebuilt as the Dagorian. The Dagorian, yes. Which is kinda what this car was based off of in the first place. Um so yeah, here's the Hot Wheels version that I built with the wheels that I salvaged off that um, that scanner code car because they look like the wheels that I needed. Um, and yeah, he has his spikes. Um, in the story, they retract so they don't they're not always around. So they 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 hide under the car and disguise themselves with the bumper. So here he is without the spikes. Pretty neat. Uh, I do need to redo those taillights. They're a little too big because. Uh, I didn't uh, account for the uh, license plate section. Um, here's how big they're supposed to be, but I was too lazy to fix the paint. But oh well. So there's Car in his Degorian upgrade. Uh, I do have a bigger model for Car. So here, let's put those spikes back on him just so I don't lose those. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to show this off. Here's Kit. It is just an old model kit I threw together. Um, I painted it as best as I could, um, but ultimately, at the end of the day, I mean, this thing is it's good enough. I really wish I painted this thruster some more accurate color, more like a silverish gray color, but oh well. This is an old model that I built uh, when I was still doing model kits. I still do some, but I really hate painting these things. Thankfully, it came in chrome, but DeLoreans are not chrome. They're like a kind of steel color because they're built out of stainless steel. Um, so here's Kit. He has no license plate because I accidentally ruined it um, because the sticker was not that great. Um, speaking of that, oh yeah, before, I forgot to, sh Jesus Christ, here's the that other toy we first looked at and I forgot to show off the destroyed uh, corpse of that. So there's that. Um, it's the thing I did. Anyway, here's Carr in his Degorian form. I don't have one for his first form with the, the rear louvers, because for that I would have to destroy one of my actual nice DeLoreans to build that. So I decided, screw it, we'll just work with this. And um, this model was actually built from a salvaged, um, what's it called? I want to say it was. Uh, it was an old Back to the Future 3 model. I had every single model of the car from Back to the Future from every movie except the Railroad one um, and the Hover Mode one, but that didn't come out until way recently. Um, and yeah, I didn't take very good care of them because I was a little kid who didn't know that model cars aren't meant to be toys. Um, but yeah, so I salvaged it. That's why it has a little hole because there used to be time components here. Uh, the one difference between kit and car in my story is that car has his scanner in the little hood scoop, kind of like the 2008 version of Knight Rider, which we will never speak of again because that show is terrible. Um, also, he only has one working door because uh, the other door broke, so I just glued it in place. But you only really need one door to work anyway because those doors are beautiful. But yeah, here he is. Here's the Degorian version of car. 
He's got his nitro tanks and all that. And yes, it is based off the car from Carmageddon. But considering that car is probably never going to appear in anything of any actual significance, I think I'm doing this vehicle a favor by yeah, even including it in my story. But yeah, this is after he got blown up and got rebuilt, and he has his spikes now that can retract and rip people to pieces and run over nazis. <laughs> oh goodness. I really I really need to I really need to work on that story element a little more. <laughs> Don't worry, when this book is done, which who knows when it'll ever be done, um because it's still in the works. Um next we have this RC control version of Kit uh, this is the NECA DeLorean RC car, which uh, I tried to sand it and make it look all worn and stuff. I'm not even looking at it. And make it look all nice and worn and like... Because in the movie Back to the Future, when he would come back through time, uh, the actual DeLorean, not Kit, um, it would have like this kind of frozen effect on it because it would get really cold for some reason. Or maybe that was just because of where it went in the movie, but anyway. Um... I tried to give it that worn brush stainless steel effect, and, you know, the funny thing is people were it's like, why would you do this? Those things are like 30 bucks and they're very valuable. No, they're not valuable at all because I bought three of these at Target on clearance for 10 bucks each. What I would have spent for one, I got three of them. And they're all RC controlled, which is even better, so... Let's demonstrate that. Before you ask what's going on with this two-tone, um, it's just a preference. That's just how I like to paint them. Because uh, there was a DeLorean uh, that was LS swapped, which if you don't know what an LS is, it's basically just a Corvette engine, and somehow somebody found a way to fit it in a DeLorean without completely destroying the space-time continuum because DeLorean purists are that immature. <laughs> not really. Not all of them. but I, I, I do know some people that would be very offended by putting an LS in a car that was already garbage to begin with. I say they were doing the car a favor. Also, here's a leftover front end from a DeLorean I destroyed her uh, a while back. There's just some leftover pieces. Anyway, yeah. I have the same problem with cliff jumper as I do with the DeLorean. I can't get enough of these things, and I keep destroying a lot of them. Um, anyway, here's his custom controller that I made. Um, yeah, so let's put some batteries in this thing and drive it around and have some fun with that. Don't worry, we still got plenty more to look at. We're not even done yet. This is all just the custom stuff that I've built that's in my story and whatnot. So once we're done with all this, then we'll look at actual products that I haven't ruined and modified for my personal enjoyment. And then you just turn this on. Okay, nice. Alright, let's have some fun. Let's go GTA mode. Boom! Yeah! Ah, uh, well, it got stuck. Alright, whatever. We're done with that. Um, should probably take those batteries out. I don't want those to leak. Alright, whatever. We're done with that. Now... As I said, we're nowhere near done because I got a whole box of DeLorean memorabilia that we're going to look at. So, uh, speaking of that box, let's go get that box. Um, so here, to show you how much DeLorean crap I actually own, um, let me go get that box. Oh, God, it's heavy. Oh, Jesus. Alright, let's take a good look at this. Most people would say I'm flexing. Um, I say this is just how... I'm just saying I'm just showing off how stupid I am to waste money on this kind of stuff. So, uh, let's get started. Here, let's take the top off of this thing. Alright. Um, our next piece we're going to look at... Um, here, let's get... Uh, where are they? So yeah, as I said, I have two of the, I have three of these things. So relax, people. I only ruined one out of the millions they probably produced to sell and never sold because they were way too expensive when they came out. Yeah, I got two of them. 
because uh, I'm, I'm obsessed with DeLoreans. Here are these little wannabe Micro Machine DeLoreans. Uh, I have another set of these somewhere. Um, let me go get those actually. Okay, we found them. Anyway, here are those little Micro Machine. Oh, this box is blocking the light here. We'll put the box over here. Anyway, um, well, so are these boxes. Here, let's get that out of the way. Here, we'll put them back here because flex. Not really, this isn't flexing, it's just showing how stupid I am to spend money on this kind of stuff. But I'm a collector and I'm passionate about these things. Yeah, here are those little micro machine versions, and they do roll, which is neat. So there's the first one from the first movie. Here's the one from the second movie, which appears to be in hover mode. And here's the one from the third film, with the red uh, wheels, but it doesn't have the white walls for some reason. And yes, I can just throw this stuff around because I have tons of it and I don't care if I damage it because I have more of it in the box. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I really shouldn't say stuff like that. That's kind of mean. Um, next. Yeah, let's look at this one. This one's kind of delicate. And I don't want to ruin it. Next, we're going to look at this 118 scale. Um, I think it's a Welly. No, no, it's a Sunstar model. I'm sorry. Um, this is a 118 scale Sunstar DeLorean DMC-12 sports coupe. Yes, or depending on part of the world you come from, coupe. That was really stupid. Um, anyway, I say coupe. I, I don't know, sometimes I say coupe. I don't know. I say horror, other people say horror. I don't like saying horror. I like saying horror. Tomato, tomato. <laughs> so yes, here is a... Um, Sunstar uh, stock DMC-12 DeLorean, please excuse the dust, um, which have become surprisingly rare, even though they're not that great, because if you know anything about model cars and collecting uh, you know, die-cast vehicles, there's a company by the name of Auto Art that produced a much nicer version of this car. But I got this because it's cheap and, you know, as cheap as I could get it, because the Auto Art is like 200 something dollars, and I'm not paying that kind of money for this car. And this gets the job done, even though the color's not quite right, but I don't care about the color. There it is, from the front. It does have steering wheels, which is nice. There is a Back to the Future version, which is like the easier version to find of this. And a gold version! Because for those who don't know, they actually made three DeLoreans in gold. Well, they were gold-coated. And, uh, and then the company went bankrupt. Not because of that, but because of the whole cocaine charge and, you know. It's funny how people think John DeLorean went to jail or prison for that kind of stuff. He was acquitted on all cases. He never did go to prison or jail for attempting to buy cocaine. And the thing is, it was not even that he was trying to become a drug dealer. He was just trying to save his auto company. Granted, he did it in the most reckless fashion possible, but, I mean, I'll give a man credit. He tried to keep his dream alive. It's just a shame that his car didn't become popular until after Back to the Future, and by then his company was already out of business. Um, so yeah, this is, you know, it's a pretty standard model car, you know, it opens up and all that stuff. And this one actually has two hoods. Oh, come on. So there's the little overly detailed PRV engine. For those who don't know what PRV stands for, it stands for Pugo. Renault and Volvo, because this is literally the uh, an engine that they used a lot at the time. So, yeah, they just stuck it in a DeLorean. And it was a very crap engine, I'm not going to lie. Um, anyway, let's get this out of the way, because I know people are going to want to see this. The gold wing doors. So, yeah, there's the interior in gray, though I kind of prefer the ones with the black interior. Uh, I'm not really a fan of the gray interior ones, but uh, supposedly those are very rare. And then here's the trunk, because the engine is in the back of the car, so you got all this space up here. There it is! And look! Some coke! <laughs> it's not real, it's just duct tape and, um, like scotch tape, I think. I don't know. It's a very sick joke, but if you know the history of the DeLorean Motor Company, Makes perfect sense. We're going to put this over here because, uh, you know, it's a very nice model. And it should be in, 
you know, with its others. Alright, next we're going to look at, let me go get it. Uh, oh yeah, here's that other gigawatt that I have in the box. Um, I'm probably going to get a third one. Or maybe not, maybe I'll just paint that one in the back because I want to make a custom version into kit or car if I'm that crazy. So I'll put that up there with the others. With the others! God, my webcam is getting really hot. I hope it doesn't overheat and explode. Um. Ah, here we go. These are going to be fun. So next, let's look at all of my Hot Wheels DeLoreans. Yes, that's all of them. Well, almost. I have, I think, one, I think I have two or three more in uh in another box somewhere with my Hot Wheels cars, but I'm not gonna get them out because they're buried in there. Well they're in a separate box with the Hollywood vehicles, but these are all we need to look at. So here is that tub uh, that scanner code DeLorean with the kind of cool custom wheels and it's got the little code on the bottom you can scan with your phone. And then we got a bunch of regular DeLoreans that are all customized and you know pimped out and stuff. There's that one. Here's uh, here's one of my favorites because it has this cool racing stripe on it. Uh, I'm sure it's based on some kind of actual DeLorean, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's get that one out of here. Um, here's a gold DeLorean if you ever wanted to see that. So, that's cool. Oh yeah, and the louvers open on all of these, which is kind of cool. Well, almost. The, the This one does not open, sadly. Uh, I think this one does. We'll find out. Here, why am I holding this? Oops. Yeah, it does. Okay. Because on the later releases of this car, they, they shut the louvers, which I thought was kind of stupid, honestly, but oh well. Here is the standard first issue release Hot Wheels DeLorean. And the louvers do open, which is nice. Pretty standard stuff. There was a Boulevard version, which was much nicer painted and actually had a proper stainless steel finish, but hey, this is my original one from my childhood, and the fact that it survived this long, this car has a lot of sentimental value. Here's another one that I also picked up when I was a kid. A lot of this stuff I've had since I was a kid. Um, this one has bronze rims on it for some reason, and clear windows, which really should be on that first release, but oh well. I'm sure if you have a drill and some tools on it, you can fix that. Here are two... Oh. Let's just dump them out. Um, here's a red DeLorean with that same stripe paint job, which I always thought was kind of cool. And yeah, louvers open. I don't need to do that for all of them. Here's kind of a race car version, which I think is pretty cool. Do these open on this one? No, these ones do not open. Okay, so I lied. Two of them don't open. But hey, it's cool. Uh, it's nice to see the DeLorean in other colors. Like black! That is a nice looking car. I'm not going to lie. A black DeLorean? I'm surprised they didn't do that in Ready Player One when they made it look like Kit with the scanner light. They should have made it black. That is a cool car. I, that is a nice car in black. And it's, a black is a hard color to do because it, you can see all the imperfections in it. Here's a little hover mode DeLorean on a little base. Which you can remove the base if you want, but I keep it on the base because it doesn't have any wheels and it doesn't roll. So, yeah. I have another one of these with the wheels on the bottom that you could buy for like a dollar back when they were still released. Here is an old uh, Chinese DeLorean uh, that um, I bought, or at least it's made in China. Uh, I have another one of these that I painted. But yeah, the door is actually open. This is a really nice car. I just wish it was painted better. But, knowing me, I bought two of them, and I painted one of them. Made it look all nice and stuff. It's got the actual correct wheels on it, which is nice. The louvers don't open on this one, but hey, I'll take Goldwing doors over louvers any day. That's, that's cool. I like that. Okay, next, here, let's put all this back in the little thing before we, uh, well, I'll screw it. We'll deal with that later. Now, if you've seen my Transformers, this is nothing new. 
And you know me, I like chibi stuff because I watch way too much anime. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's nice. That's neat. I like that. And the door's open. Look, it's got a little Marty in it. And he also came with an, alt, uh, an alternate set of hair and some other hands. I don't know where I put them. I don't care. I just wanted this nice little stocky car. I have a kit as well, but I don't know where I put him. Actually, I know where I put him, but he's in another box. We're here to talk about DeLoreans anyway, so it doesn't matter. So there's that. Here are those Wendy's or Universal toy cars I was talking about. So yeah, they're very unpainted and they don't look very nice, but they were cheap. They were like 10 bucks a piece when I bought them, so I don't care. And I have five of them anyway, and I painted one in my kit because I'm psychotic. <laughs> Next. We're going to look at uh, this uh, really, really rare, um, actually they're stupidly rare, um, 124 scale Wellies DeLorean, the stock one. The Back to the Future one, there's, there's a surplus of those everywhere. You can find those anywhere. A regular stock DeLorean that's not been, you know, deformed with all the Back to the Future upgrades, which... I'm not, I'm not knocking Back to the Future. I love those films. I grew up on those films. Um, but it's nice to have just the nice original DeLorean car. Because it is a very nice, elegant little car. Even though it was one of the biggest business failures in the 1980s. But that's the story for another time. But yeah, this is, this is really rare. You can never find them. I got lucky and found one. Um, and yeah, as you can see, the box is in horrible condition. And apparently whoever owned this was a, a member of the DeLorean Owners Association. So hey, that's cool. Um, yeah, this box is... Oh, there's the Back to the Future ones, which I had all three of them, and then I destroyed them because I was a stupid kid. Well, I rebuilt one of them. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I normally wouldn't do this, but because this box is in such terrible condition... Let's go ahead and open it. Um, I'm still going to keep the box. In fact, I'm probably going to keep it in the box. Uh, but I'm going to open it anyway because... Uh, that sticker alone just adds a lot of value to me personally. Um, this thing is really stuck here. That's probably because of this. That's probably why. God, this... Oh, I think I just ripped something. Oh, wow. Come on, get out. There we go. Yeah, there's the destroyed box. The car is in pristine condition. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I technically already opened this, but then when I realized how valuable this thing was, I put it right back in the box. Oh, yeah, but yeah. The box is in terrible shape. Uh, we're going to need a screwdriver to get that out, which I have on me. If I could just get the correct one. There we go. Let's try and keep it away from the car so we don't scratch the beautiful paint. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep this in the box because that box is in terrible shape. But in, at the end of the day, it's just cardboard. I mean, I don't care too much for it. It's nice to have it, but I want to enjoy my models. So I'm taking this one out. I'm setting it free. So, yeah. Anyway, let's, uh, oh, the screw, oh, there's only one screw. Yeah, that's the other thing. When I bought this, it only had one screw. That's, uh, interesting. And there, here, let's get that screwdriver. It's dangerously sharp, and I don't want it to touch my beautiful car. Yeah. And there is our lovely DeLorean DMC-12 sports car. And it's kind of dusty, but I don't care. And yes, I still have both functional doors. Now that is beautiful. I was gonna I was very tempted to turn this into car, the the custom Knight Rider version or story version in my story. But I don't have another this is literally just a bent piece of metal that I just glued on there and then painted it. I couldn't bring myself to do it. I couldn't ruin this thing, so I'm gonna leave it as is. 
Or who knows, maybe I'll just get rid of the hood scoop on car and the scanner altogether, and then it'll just be cosmetically a DeLorean on the outside, and then in the story on the inside, it's a high-tech sports car with weapons and other lovely disasters. But yes, there is a Welly 124 scale DeLorean. Very rare, very hard to come by, and very, very desirable. It doesn't have the DMC logo on there, which is a little heartbreaking, but oh well. There's the engine, which in reality is total garbage. If you if you know who Video Bob Mosley is, he builds replicas of the Back to the Future car all the time. And uh, he can tell you from experience, these cars are terrible to work on. They're cool. I'm not knocking the car. The car is cool from a cosmetic standpoint, but mechanically they are just terrible. Um, and you know what? I, I don't have a problem opening that one because, you know, I got two of them. <laughs> I am terrible. I am terrible. <laughs> yeah, I found another one. And I paid the same price I paid for the other one, which was like a hundred bucks. And yeah, this one's in much better condition, and the box is actually in decent shape, but it doesn't have that cool sticker, though. Although, I'm kind of glad it doesn't, because then you wouldn't be able to see the cool picture of the DeLorean. It's very dusty, but you know what? That's 80s dust, even though I don't think this was actually made in the 80s. And it still has the cellar tape on it. Uh, any sad onions? Oh, yep, there it is. Sad onion. It's just upside down. I'm not going to bother to flip that over. Um, so yeah, we got... If you watch Ashens, that'll make more sense. So we'll put that on top of the... Here, actually, that's very unstable. Um, here, there we go. That's a better spot. Um, we're not done yet, but we're getting there. Um, anyway... We got one more car to look at. What is this now? I think it's just car. Oh yeah, it's just cardboard. Whatever. Now we're gonna look at the last and I wouldn't say it's my holy grail of the DeLorean collection, but it's kind of the centerpiece because this is what most people recognize it for. This is a more recent piece. This is the Playmobil DeLorean. DMC 12 car. And yes, I still have all the accessories for it. So there's Einstein, there's Marty's skateboard, there's the little antenna rod thing with the hook, and the plutonium that got Doc killed in the first place, if you've seen the movie, and as well as the camera and the RC controller. We're not going to go into too much detail on that. There's plenty of videos on this too. Um, but yeah, there it is. And there's Doc and Marty. Um, and this is a very big car, too, and the proportions on it are not too unrealistic. So if you wanted to put more realistic figures in this, you could if you wanted to, instead of the generic Playmobil ones. I mean, the proportions on this car are pretty spot on, so I guess if you wanted to replace those, you could. But uh, my favorite part is... Uh, ooh, they're very stiff. It's got hover mode. I'm only gonna do that to one wheel because I really they're really stiff and I don't wanna break them. Yeah, that's really stiff. Um, yeah, I'm only gonna do it to one wheel, so sorry. But it's got one more trick up its sleeve. Um, actually, I might need AAA batteries for this. Hold on. Um, I had AAA batteries. Yeah, they were over here when I was using that other DeLorean. So here, let's uh, find those real quick. Ah, there they are. We're going to need these. All three of them. Where's that dangerous screwdriver from earlier? There it is. So just unscrew that screw. There we go. Put that screw back in the battery cover so we don't lose that. Anyway, uh, there's Marty. He just fell over and keeled over and died. Kind of like Doc did, but without getting shot. But you know what? That's what you get for doing it in the same parking lot as Boys in the Hood. I think it was the same parking lot. I don't know. I remember seeing a comment somewhere. Somebody made a joke that on the other side of the of the, uh, here, we don't even need the battery cover for this, uh, the other side of the parking lot, they were, uh, doing experiments with the DeLorean, 
Um, I don't know how true that is, though. But, uh... Anyway. Yeah, it lights up. And the flux capacitor. That's cool. Um, and then if you push it again... Actually, it's almost done. Here. If you let it cycle, it stays static. And then if you wait a little longer, it'll turn off on its own. I'm going to go ahead and turn off now. Uh, where's the button? I can't feel it now. Yeah. Again, I'm not going to leave the batteries in there because... I don't want them to rot and ruin my nice expensive toy because I paid like 40 bucks for this thing. Because I actually bought it new when I found it at Walmart, of all places. Anyway, there's all my DeLorean memorabilia that I happen to own. And yes, it's everywhere now. I'm not going to clean all this up. Um, but you know what? It was well worth it. So yeah, finally decided to show off my entire DeLorean collection. We've been here for about, oh, almost an hour. Um, I'm probably going to edit this as quickly as possible. But uh, thank you all for watching this long, and uh, who knows, maybe my book will finally be done at some point. But I have to actually do the artwork. And I'm going to do it myself, because I want it to be as true to me as possible, even if I'm not that great of an artist. As for our next video, I have no clue what it's going to be, but it's probably not going to be as convoluted as this. Um, whatever. Um, thank you all for watching. And uh, I'm going to go edit this now and, um, you know, yeah. Hallelujah! Another soul saved!